Hi, in this video I will show you how to create uh, a three node storage cluster with high availability and uh, data replication and the duplication in less than 10 minutes. All your money back. First of all, let's grab the source code. Unpack the tarball and install a couple of dependencies. Uh, in particular, we will need to get the OpenSSL headers and the libcurl for OpenSSL headers. Everything else will be installed as a dependency of these two packages. Okay, we are now ready to configure and make and make install the product. I will fast forward the video to make the process faster. Okay, the compilation was successful, so we can now check the USR locals bin directory. We'll see that there are a few binaries, a couple of scripts. Uh, the one that interests us most is SX setup, which will take care of setting up the node uh, by itself. So let's run SX setup. First of all, we have to choose a name for the cluster. Uh, it can be any alphanumeric string. So in this case, we'll just use test, because I have a lot of fantasy. And uh, we're going to choose the directory where the data will be stored on this node. Uh, it can be really any directory. I will just use temp because this is just a test cluster. Don't write at home, it's dangerous. Uh, then we have to choose the maximum size for uh, uh, this node. The cool thing about the Scalable SX is that it allows you to mix nodes with very different capacity. So for example, you could have uh, one node with uh, one terabyte of capacity and uh, 10 nodes with uh, 100 gigabit, gigabyte each of capacity. And the internal algorithm that we use to distribute the data among nodes, which is an improved version of uh, the consistent hashing, uh, will make sure that all the nodes are full before the cluster is considered full. So in this case, uh, I'm setting up a cluster with three nodes, all with the same capacity. So I will just accept the default and uh, assign one terabyte to each node. The ne next question is about uh, the IP address of this node. Uh, the script uh, tries to guess the IP address uh, of the current server by looking up the output of if, if config. So we can just accept the default. Next question is if this is a new cluster. So if we are setting up a new cluster, this obviously is uh, the first node and uh, then we just accept the default. Uh, finally, we are presented with the summary of our choices, which we just have to approve. And that's it. The cluster is up and running. Of course, currently it contains only a single node, the current node but we are going to fix it uh, immediately because we are going to add a second node now. So let's move to the second node where I already have compiled a sex so that we don't waste any time. So let's now set up the second node. Again, we are running a sex setup. Here we have to enter exactly the same cluster name that we entered on the first node uh, so that the uh, SSL certificate validation will succeed. So we type test. Here we choose where to store the data on this node. I will just type temp because this is just a test, but use uh, some more same value in your installation. Uh, then I have to choose the maximum size of the node. We decide to make all the nodes equal. Uh, the IP address of this node again was guessed uh, automatically by the script. Oh, one very important thing is that uh, uh, the software must be able to bind to port 80 and 443 on the IP address of the node. And uh, so the script will check that there are no other daemon 
uh, listening on these ports and uh, it will return an error uh, if, there, uh, if it finds any and it will ask you to remove them before you go on with the installation. Um, now we are asked if this is the first node of the cluster and the answer obviously is no because we are trying to join an existing cluster. So we have to provide the IP address of any node of the cluster. This is 55. And then we have to authenticate before we can join a node to another cluster. So we have to get the admin key of the cluster. This is available in the output of SX server status. So we just look for the admin key line in the output of SX server status and we cut and paste it on the second node. Now we are asked to enter the SSL private key. Again, this is a secret that uh, cannot be obtained automatically, obviously. So we're going back to the first node. We look at the output of SX server status. We see that the SSL private key is stored under this path. So we just cut it and cut and paste it on the second node. After the cut and paste, I have to press Ctrl D. Uh, the public certificate of the existing cluster is obtained automatically, so you don't need to enter it manually. And there we go. The, the second node is ready. Here we are asked to confirm that the SSL fingerprint of the remote certificate, of the certificate of the cluster is correct. Uh, we need to verify that this is correct. Uh, if we trust it, we accept it, and the node is joined to the cluster. As you can see now in the output of a sex server status, we get two nodes. Let's move on to the last node. Run again SX setup, enter the name of the cluster, again test. It's very important that it's the same as the one used uh, on the other nodes. Path to store the data, size of the node, IP address of the current node. No daemon is listening currently on this IP address, so we are good. This is not the first node of the cluster, so we answered no. And we provide the IP address of any node of the cluster. So I could provide you the IP address of the first node, 55, or of the second node, doesn't matter. Actually, this is a very important to note that uh, uh, there is no first node and second node, actually. After you join two nodes, uh, the distinction disappear. All nodes are created equal, so uh, there is no difference between uh, nodes once they are joined to the cluster. Again, we have to provide the admin key of the cluster, which is already available in the output of SX server status. Again, we have to provide the SSL private key of the cluster, which we have here. Again, we confirm our choices. And there it is, the node has been joined to the cluster and now the cluster has three nodes. Well, looks like we did it. Took only nine minutes, so we still have time for a cup of coffee and at Scalable we do love coffee. So enjoy your new storage cluster while I enjoy my coffee.